Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So today we're looking at Amber Lynn's new video called Do My New Clothes Fit? Um, and I am super excited. Did you guys see on Instagram where she said that she spends $7,000 a year on Torrid? It was honestly shocking. I made a couple speculations that, you know, I think that she probably gives at least $2,000 of toward clothes to Miss Dana a year because we know that our girl is trying to get into those fours. And honestly, I don't really see why she's doing that. It just seems like a big waste. Um... But in the end, I was thinking, you know what, girl, that's not really a flex. Okay, $7,000 on Torrid. When you drive a Honda Civic, that is um, basically almost touching the ground. Because I'm not even going to say it. It's not really a flex, is it? So... <laughs> Regardless of that, let's just get uh, right into it. I mean, shall we? Good morning. So, good morning, Amberlynn. We're officially out of. I honestly haven't been happy with her because I thought more about her. Okay, if you guys remember previously on Amberlynn. She said she was having a PTSD moment. And honestly, at the time, I just kind of like, I didn't gloss over it. I acknowledged that it was kind of a dumb thing to say. But the more that I thought about it, the more that it just rubbed me the wrong way. So we're not exactly happy with Amber right now, but I don't really think that anybody is so paper towels and we can't find them anywhere as for cleaning supplies we only have our all-purpose cleaner with bleach left and we can't find anything else anywhere so that sucks because we use paper towels around here and now we don't have any i'm just afraid of like running out of toilet paper or something but Anyways, I just woke up. This is how I look when I wake up. I'm sure a lot of you... That would um, make Becky's job a little bit harder if they ran out of toilet paper now, wouldn't it? Yikes. Like, that's how you always look. So, I'm actually about to make me something to eat because I'm hungry. You know what I'm super excited for? I got these um, French baguettes. And I'm going to use it to, like, make a sandwich or something one of these nights. It goes bad in a couple days, so definitely going to have to be using those. Hey, so I've actually had a lot of people asking, why do I run out of my medicine without getting it refilled? Like, why do I let myself run out of medicine? I've seen a lot of people say, because she said that um, she was taking vitamin D and she wasn't feeling as well because she wasn't taking her vitamin D, but then again, you know, you can just get that on Amazon, right? That's where I got mine. I do actually take a supplement. Um, so I was kind of confused. And I've been asked that because I told you guys I have no more vitamin D. So that wasn't my fault. Unfortunately, um, I had an appointment scheduled to get my labs done again because my doctor didn't want to give me more vitamin D if my vitamin D was up. So, I was supposed to go get my labs done, my labs done again, but that appointment got canceled due to the virus. So I was not able to get a refill on vitamin D. Honestly, she looks smaller. I know you guys don't think so. Some of you guys don't, but to me, she does. And I still can't get a refill on vitamin D because of the virus. So I just okay. To so why don't you just buy it from Amazon? I'm just confused that and mention that but i am going to be having a video 
appointment and see if, you know, if I tell her, hey, I'm back to feeling fatigued and all that stuff before taking the vitamin D. So if she knows that I'm back to feeling that way, then, you know, she's a doctor. She'll know, okay, well, that means your vitamin D is low again. So maybe then she'll do a refill. But that's the only reason why, because trust me, I would have had that refill ready to rumble. I would have went to my appointment and all that, but it was canceled, sadly. So I just wanted to let you guys know because there was a lot of confusion, which I understand. Horrid. I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, honestly, she could just order it if she feels like that's the problem. She has no problem self-diagnosing other things. So, I don't know. Here's this horrid try-on, I guess. you guys so this is one of the dresses that i hauled in a few videos ago that i was nervous <laughs> that wouldn't fit me and it does which all right so honestly, that's the four i guess shocks me because here we go ago, this wouldn't fit me because this is a size four and in this material no nope so it fits yeah so uh bugger off data This is not for you, sweetie. Which is super exciting. I think it's so cute. So now we're gonna, this doesn't match, but we're gonna try on this with it. Let's see. Honestly, that looks like, I don't oh, know. If it's good. Again, it does not match with this dress. I would never wear the two together, but All right. it does. It looks like a, I don't know. It just looks like an ice cream cone. I don't know. In fact, fit. Woo. This is that moment you realize that quarantine has made you lose your mind. Okay. I mean, not alone, right? You're not alone, sweetie. Don't you wish that you could be a fly on the wall? <laughs> oh, this is funny. I'm confused. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Here's the other dress. That's supposed to be a dress. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I mean, at least she can see the comedy in it, right? That's a dress. That's a dress. Fits. And I was not expecting it to. Another shockeroni, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. So I remember the pants, the fiasco with the pants. I was so scared they were gonna be too tight. They weren't gonna fit. <sighs> I'm gonna show you guys a little something, something. Okay, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> horizontal stripes, sweetheart. Things we love. <laughs> She's happy that it fits, but, like, what does it? I'm, like, too short for them. They're way too big. They're perfect up here, though. And, like, the butt area is like perfect. Oh, but she was like, laughing because the pants are too big. All right. Her is cracking me up. I feel like I could go maybe a size smaller. Y'all. That's funny. I want to see Becky's reaction. Do you see how long Baxter, they are? Baxter, work for your five dollars, please. Big? I don't know. 
I'm dying. You guys, this is Becky. Watch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That's precious. <laughs> Okay, so there have been quite a few people who want me to bring That's back so on sweet. day, but... Yes, girl, we've been picking up the slack for you. I don't know. So I decided, you know, to compromise a bit. I'll just go to my last vlog and read the top comments. Because I've also... Girl, they're not going to be good. I've been doing comment of the day for a while now, and... They're never good say that they want me to do that as well so a little nerve-wracking because I don't know what to expect so let me pull it up I'm gonna go to my channel and then go to the video it is the pizza mukbang talking about my weight okay first one probably a wise bet that those torrid clothes didn't fit and this has 697 thumbs up you're wrong um, some of the comments underneath it. She just proved you wrong, boo boo. Um, someone said definitely. Someone said duh. Someone said she doesn't have to graduate to curtains. Someone said those parts are too small for her. Um, someone said nope. Someone said yeah, no way in hell. Next comment, your art audience is not your therapist. Definitely agree with that. Um, it's just really nice. To Can you imagine if your therapist, um, threw a ton of hate comments? I'm just saying. I'm just saying the comments are really good. I'm on camera and be able to talk to people. It's kind of like talking to friends. You know, when you want to get some things off your chest, who do you go to? Your friends. And I've been on YouTube for so long that it's just like no. almost natural to yes. me to want to come on here and just like talk about my feelings and how I'm doing and stuff like that. Next comment. It's not a PTSD episode. It's you not breathing and your body waking you up. Okay. So regarding it's you it not breathing slumpy. and your body waking up. The thing is, when my schedule, like my sleeping schedule is on track, when I'm sleeping like a normal person, like when I'm falling asleep at night okay. and waking up in the morning, it never happens. Like I never jolt awake. I'm never like jolting awake and being scared or panicky. Um, I don't wake up at all in the middle of the night. I sleep like an actual baby. But then when- I know what she means um, when she says that she jerks awake uh, because something, I don't know, like, occasionally i'll deal with that like it'll just be something like really frightening like i can just remember i imagined a rat in my face and i jerked awake so that's what i'm thinking that she went through but i'm just not totally sure it wasn't ptsd and i can't sleep like at all because i'm having so much anxiety and i'm just like it's like this fear and this like feeling of like doom or something bad is about to happen i cannot sleep at all and it's like it honestly sounds like sleep apnea which a lot of people have been talking about that she doesn't really do anything about it so bad that anytime i'm about to fall asleep i jolt awake um and it's only happening when i literally can't sleep at all um so yeah, it's definitely has nothing to do with my breathing because if it did, then it would also happen when I was on a normal sleeping schedule, which I'm on now. Next comment. If you are in the 400s, why don't you just celebrate and buy a new bra? Like, you have the resources. I just, I don't understand it. I don't like pizza. I don't choose my thumbnails. I'm not a pepper. It just looks filthy. Okay. Your bra's filthy. Have some self-respect. Brony girl. Stop lying. So, I don't really like pizza. It's not really my favorite thing in the world. Do I eat it? Sure. Did I like the Lean Cuisine pizza? Yes. Honestly, that was good. Um, even if you don't Fine. like pizza, I feel like you guys should try it. I really did enjoy it. I don't choose my thumbnails. Majority of the time, I don't. With YouTube, you have three options for a thumbnail. Yeah, I know. I finally learned how to actually choose my thumbnails using my phone. So sometimes I will choose my thumbnails. Next comment says, when we said go outside and do something, this is not what we meant. 
Okay. You mean you don't scrub through the video and take the screenshot and upload that because it's probably what you do. I'm sorry. So I'm just scrolling through because now it's a lot of the same things I just mentioned about um, the torrid clothes not fitting, um, about me jolting awake. And the reason why I said the PTSD thing is because I did have a therapist last year that you guys know about that I would go and see. It was actually something that her and I would talk about a lot. And when I explained to her that things like that happened to me, she said it's very much PTSD kind of like for my um, trauma from when I was a child. So that is the reason why I brought it up. Um, I really did not mean to offend anyone. That's definitely never my intention at all, honestly. All right. I mean, I get it. I get it, Amberlynn. Um, she's talked about it a bunch that she didn't have the best childhood, but she should just really be careful the way she words things. Like, it's not a Jeffree Star PTSD moment. You know what I mean? You know, it's a lot more serious than that. So I understand. I have gotten a few people saying like that offended me and I really did not mean that and I'm very very sorry. So the last one I'm gonna read is if you really had anxiety you would not be anxious. Just I can just see like Becky's hand um, moving in the background. It's quite distracting. Just to take the medicine. You would take it the day it was prescribed because you wanted the anxiety to stop. I am very sorry but that is not true in the slightest. What is she I'm itching? I'm terrified of medicine. It is something that I have talked about Fine, on I know for a very long time. Um, I don't like taking medicine, even something as simple as ibuprofen. I have never taken anything that's like super serious, like muscle relaxers. No, never going to happen. Not going to happen ever. Um, and anything that's going to just control you in some way. And anxiety medicine is that. And it doesn't matter what so... medicine it is. It, it freaks me out. My psychiatrist understands that. And she says actually a lot of people experience the same thing. So... The fact that I have anxiety and I need to take a medicine to prevent that anxiety, but I'm having anxiety over taking a medicine because for some reason I'm fearful of medicine, it is a never ending circle. I think this is the biggest reason why I don't do comment of the day. So um, I probably shouldn't have even done this because it's just Honestly, like, I just wonder what she's taking. Is she taking like Boost Par or is she taking like a Benzo? I'm not really sure. Like people just pick apart everything and it's just it's hard to read because it's like I just want positivity and everyone's always thinking I'm like trolling or I say the wrong thing and I do the wrong thing it's just like because you um, said that you were trolling and then I don't know like I, I said I wanted to root for her but when she's eating pizza on camera it just I don't know muddies it right I handle sometimes but anyways, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right. What did you guys think of Amberlynn's new video? She talked about her uh, PTSD moment. Uh, yikes. She didn't mention the weight loss, but she showed us that she was fitting into fours and she proved us wrong. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.